Welcome back to the channel. I'm at the garden again. And unfortunately, yesterday I noticed we had our first attack on the garden. We have a uh, vegetable that was nibbled on. It looks like it was ripped right out of the ground. Is this one right here? It is our, what is that? Little yellow lemon boy tomato. Look at right here. It actually nibbled the end and pulled it right out of the ground so i was out here mowing just yesterday drove by and saw this thing so the one thing i always do which i failed to do this year is i actually use my secret weapon to deter um, animals and mostly deer from the garden and that is using zest or irish spring soap uh, about 10 12 years ago i came across that idea and i started using it and uh never had any sort of issue with uh, animals in the garden or eating anything like that. So I forgot it this year. And so that's what I did. I ran down to the store, picked up some soap, and I am back here to lay out my secret weapon. All right, check it out. Irish Spring soap. Like I said, I learned, I can't remember if somebody told me this or if I saw it on PBS or something, but they would say, hang it in some cheesecloth off a stick around your garden and it would keep the animals away. So first few years, yeah, I did, yeah, I got cheesecloth, I wrapped it up, I tied it with some string and it was just a lot of freaking work. So what I do now is I actually take the bar of soap and I will cut it in half. This stuff is so soft. I just use a putty knife, split it in half. Then I take a drill bit to the end of this thing and I will just drill a little hole, a couple inches deep, right in the bottom of this thing. That way when I stick a stake in the ground, throw that up there, boom, got it right there. And then it's about, you know, nose level with deer and stuff like that for the most part. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some more of these drilled up. And it makes fun little, uh, twists out of the soap. We'll get some of these done though and we will uh, get them in the garden. Just obviously be careful you don't drill all the way through, hit your hand. Nice and slow. You don't have to go very deep. But I have seen deer, I've seen eight deer come out of the trees, drive towards the garden, separate at the garden, go around the garden and come back on the other side when this has uh, been deployed in the garden. So, you know, coincidence, I don't know, but it was kind of cool to see. I just happened to peek out my window, saw the bunch of deer coming out. Obviously if I see deer, I stop and ooh and awe over them no matter where I'm at. But they came out right towards the garden, grazing on my lawn, and just circled the garden. So it was pretty cool to see. So I mean I know it works. I've had really good, really good luck over the years. And I've actually skipped one year. One year I skipped. I didn't put it out. I said screw it. And my garden just got demolished. Uh, I'm not sure if it was deer, turkey rabbits all the above but there was nothing left all right got a few of these got a few steaks we will get this deployed around the garden quick all right here we go steak in the ground and the bar of soap right on top it's that easy All right, just to show you guys how darn easy this is to slice through. I mean, it's almost like butter. And like I said, simple little. Boom, done.
All right, guys, check it out. Got all my soap deployed. Um, yeah, it's probably like every, I don't know, 10 feet or so. I have a little partial piece of soap. Um, and yeah, and another cool thing is it, it makes it smell good down here. So it just always smells fresh. Um, and then when the rain does come down, it hits the soap and actually kind of drips down um, into the dirt a little bit and kind of gets mixed around. So I don't know, it works for me. Now, I've also, when I was at the store, I picked up the soap, but I also picked up a replacement tomato plant for the one that got destroyed. And I have a vacant spot right there that, I don't know, I must've miscounted when I bought plants. So I actually bought a, uh, I think it's a ghost pepper, you know, something fun, dumb to have in the garden. So got two more plants I'm gonna plant really quick. Should be good to go. All right, let's see. Luckily they had the exact same tomato plant at the store. So quick replacement, not a big deal. Perfect. All right, my vacant little spot here. Like I said, I think, what is this? Yeah, it's a ghost pepper. So get this in the ground, get her watered in, and we'll be done. All right, done. All right, well, there you have it. Unfortunately, our garden was attacked, but luckily only one plant was destroyed and everything else stayed. So I don't know what it was. Didn't really see any tracks though either. At first I thought maybe it was a kid, but it was kind of weird that you could just tell that the plant was nibbled on and it was short. So, I mean, the kids wouldn't just go do something like that. So <sighs> either way, we got our soap out. It's already smelling fantastic out here. Hopefully our garden will last uh, for the entire summer without any other problems or anything like that. So hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time. Later.